What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Today I'm going to be building the vault. And that pretty much is just going to be a room uh, where I store materials in a vault. But I don't really have quite enough materials just yet crafted in order to uh, like get it fully finished because I do not have the vault available to me. The vault is level 65? Yeah, level 65 for the vault. So I currently cannot actually make one, but I do have metal walls. I have metal foundations. I have uh, some metal fences. So as you can see that our base is double layered in stone all the way up using the little fence, stupid little fence thing that they don't patch out of the game yet, as well as our ceilings are too thick as well. Since there is explosives, it really doesn't matter having a two stone thick wall. Honestly, one rocket launcher shot will blow through this and take everything. With Purge coming up on Friday, I thought it would be a great idea to go ahead and actually get uh, and maybe like a little vault going in order just to make it a little bit more difficult to steal all our gear. We haven't tamed any dinosaurs yet, and that is due to the server crashing a whole shit ton. So it turns out the Bush People mod is pretty damn unstable, and it's causing a lot of issues. I'm working with the server hosters to either lower the amount of Bush People to, to cut down on CPU and RAM usage on the server as well as possibly being able to just remove it completely, hopefully not ruining too much of what's going on here. So like if, say we remove the bush mod, it might end up making this riot armor disappear. We're not completely sure if that's the case yet, but if it does, we're not going to complain because at least we'll have a server to play on it. These are all unforeseeable things when it comes to mods. We'll look into some other cooler mods to have on the server in place of it. And if you guys have any recommendations, I would recommend going to my Discord and discussing it with people in my Discord channel. Uh, I am in there as well, discussing with people sometimes. Other times I'm too busy making videos myself or working or doing whatever the hell I'm doing with my life, which is kind of all over the place right now with my house and everything. And that's why I haven't been streaming much. So uh, yeah, that being said, the Discord link will be in the description down below. You can either use it in your browser or you can use it in the Discord app. So we have nice little demo and nice little havoc laying here on the ground while we build our little domains. So I was thinking that I would want to do a little reinforced tube that kind of leads into it. That way you kind of separate the vault from the main building this is obviously going to expand we're going to have a cage and we're going to make it a little bit bigger we might end up just replacing this with metal but for now i'd like to have like the expanded area because we are kind of getting a little uh thick in here there's a lot going on so uh, i'm trying to avoid this whole cluster of mess and bumping into walls and all these chests and stuff we're trying to avoid that we're going to spread out and i'm going to make a vault over here so if you guys don't know how to double layer walls. I'm going to pretty much show you how to do it right now. Uh, you use a fence foundation. You put the fence on here. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. One of my fires went out. That's fine. Other one went out. That's fine. Third one's probably about to go out too. I don't think there's any metal left in them anyway. So this is how you do it. You place down your fence foundations. So you go ahead and grab a wall. It's a little, it's a little jiggly. It's a little different. Um, it's a little hard to do sometimes, and it really just is trial and error. So you can see this is an outer wall. This is an inner wall. It's inches. It's inches on inches and you really wouldn't even notice it if you weren't completely paying attention. So I believe that was an inner wall that I just placed. And the problem with placing an inner wall first is it just doesn't let you do it. You have to place the outer wall first, which is why I recommend being outside of the building. Generally, the first thing that's going to snap, see right there. And now it's not snapping correctly. I'm doing a tutorial on how to do it, but it's not cooperating. So there we go. Perfect. So you can see that it's flush with the outside and this is still relatively exposed. If all this stuff would, all this debris would disappear, it would seem fine. That's why I crafted a whole bunch of walls extra uh, is mainly because it is a lot of trial and error. So see, this one is not overlapping and you place it down and now you have double thick stone walls which the vault we're going to try to do double thick metal walls not sure how it's going to work i've never done metal i've always done stone or wood for these double layer walls um so let's do the other side real quick oh i already have one down i forgot look at all the dyes by the way all the dyes i can make everything so pretty if i wanted to which i will i, I think i actually stole a paint gun no i think i think i dropped the paint gun crap I can just craft one. That's fine. 
So now we grab some extra walls here get that double layer and the reason why I wanted to do such a thin hallway is if you guys have ever seen any movie theater ever with a villain that owns a vault how there's just like a very well, how there's a very thin hallway and then like multitudes of different types of doors will open like tumbling doors and laser doors and all this kind of crazy stuff would go into place please work with me there we go um all these tumbling doors and then the rolling door and then a vault door you got to spin and all these different vault doors will open until you finally get into the piece de resistance which is the room in which whatever awesomeness is held um and by the way for this stack mod you have to drop the items when you demolish which is actually all stack mods may i remind you they pretty much all work like this you pick them up and then they will stack and they will go back to normally not being as heavy so you can see 79 stone only weighs 15 weight it's pretty Pretty amazing, and it's great for raiding and stuff, like I explained a while ago. So you can actually also double layer ceilings. I know a lot of people don't even actually, didn't even know this. Again, I probably will fail miserably. So as you can see, we can go down where it tries to sit on the lower portion of the walls. So there's one, there's another. So we want to get the higher portion one first. It's inches. It is literally inches for you to be able to do it. So now, if we jiggle this around, you can see that we got another layer of ceiling. That one didn't snap correctly because I moved slightly when I clicked. Ah, oh, we might not be able to get this. This entire building is double layered in the ceiling, but this is a little bit more difficult. I've never done a one by one double. Eh, see how it looks like it's supposed to be snapping underneath it, but it's not? I might not be able to get this. This might be the weak point of my base. Please, please. No, nope, doesn't look like we're going to be able to do it. That's fine, though. Believe me, it does work. These are double layered. If I were to break them, I wouldn't be able to replace them. So I don't really want to break them. Try from a different angle. There we go. Look, try from a different angle and we got it. So now that's double layered thick of ceiling. So now the plan is to put a door right here that is metal. But we want to make sure that the metal door is on the metal foundation. That way you cannot just break the stone foundation to break into the metal vault. But this is difficult. I've never really got this right. And you can never really tell unless you delete the previous foundation. This is going to be really bright. I need to... R dot bloom. Whoops. Bloom quality zero. There we go. Uh, so like I said, I wanted to do this kind of hallway. So now this part is going to be like the second tumbler door that you need to get through. And then from here, we're going to have the larger three by two vault, which will have a vault inside. I can't make it tall enough yet, but we will be doing that. Like I said, once I'm level 65, I should be able to get to 65 before purge. That way it's just a little bit harder to get to my materials. There we are. So now this is going to be like this back area. Is that a Dillo? Dillo. See you later, Dillo. All right. We're good. Everybody's friendly. Hello, Trike. How are you? So now we want to actually grab our metal fence foundations, which weigh way more than they should. May I add? Put one there. Not even sure if we're going to be able to double layer this. Like, look how closely these snap versus the fence foundations. You can see the edge. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I've never double layered metal before ever. Like I said, I've always done stone or wood. So this is the first time you can actually triple layer as well. Uh, I'll care to explain that to you right now. So you can actually triple layer. There's a way to, as you can see, snap these lower walls onto the bottom of the foundation. But since it is lower than the foundation, see, so you could snap one right here. You would have to technically do two walls to cover the same amount. And uh, you do not actually have to add another, see, like another fence foundation right here to continue up on double. Uh, you just got to make sure that there's no ceiling when you place the walls. And it's kind of difficult to explain without actually showing you. But you can triple layer. But like I said, it's going to take two walls to do the same as, as one wall when it comes to this kind of layering. So if you want to be really safe, you could triple layer. You could triple layer your entire base and just make it a little bit more harder to raid. And the reason why I'm telling you guys these things as well is if you're on the server, I would completely recommend you do these things because it's going to make it a lot easier for you to survive during purge. All right. So now we have the outer wall, like I said, outer wall first and then inner wall second. 
And as you can see, double layer of metal. So it does work the same way. I just thought it wouldn't work the same way because of how flush this metal fence foundation is with the metal foundation on the ground. Um, like I said, I do not have enough metal materials right now to, in order to do this. It is a lot of grinding to get metal materials. A lot of it pretty much from me had to just come from the bush people. Uh, murdering bush people is not an easy job and looks like I'm already losing a lot of my materials because I didn't place the inner portion of this, which makes me a little heated, but that's fine. We're good. And there we go. I'll throw these in here just to cut down on room. Grab the rest of our walls. Make sure that I'm placing the outer one first. I can't carry that. I need to go up and wait really bad. You guys saw me during those Bush People episodes not even be able to carry the amount of dyes that I wanted. That's how many dyes I wanted. Is I just couldn't even carry them. There we go. We got the outer one first. Inner one second. This is going to be like the inner sanctuary vault. I'm going to have one big vault right here dead center holding all of the more valuable items. Um, of course, like I said, the base is going to expand. We could add multiple vaults. I think the plan is to eventually build around this vault, um, like build around it in stone and then have like a whole bunch of these different vaults spread out throughout this really thick base. That's why I chose this extremely flat area. This is literally no health. We can build these foundations out to here. We could keep going, literally build these all the way out here with no problem. No problem at all for us to build it out there just because of how flat it is. Our base can just keep expanding, become this giant labyrinth of just clusterfuckery of not knowing where my gear is. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Pretty much you'd have to take apart my entire base to find all of my gear. And that's the plan because I'd be able to come on since purge is only three hours now versus five. And it is on a Friday. It makes it a lot easier for me to get on and defend versus Saturdays where I would usually go to the beaches and go out on the boat, go fishing, that kind of stuff. And that's why I kept missing the rat, the last couple of purges. But tis no more. We will be on for purge as much as we possibly can. We will be on this Friday. And I'm looking forward to the first one on this map, um, especially if the Bush people mod, we can figure out what is wrong with it or we can fix it or fix the lag or whatever it's causing. Whoops. Um, it'll be awesome to have the bush, pe bush people mixed in, especially like if you're chasing someone down. Why are you doing this? Like I said, it is such an iffy little... This is not meant to be in the game. Believe me, they did not mean for you to be able to double layer walls like this. I'm going to tell you that now. So uh, when you're doing it, there's a lot of instances where, like you're seeing now, where it just does not want to snap appropriately. There's easier ways to figure it out, but while I'm talking and doing it at the same time, I can't focus as much. Um, so there we go. All right. We were able, we were going to be able to actually, oh, I got an outer and then an inner. Holy shit. That was weird. Okay. Well, this is all I really can get done today. I have plenty of uh, extra, like I have the door. We can do the door now, right? I've never figured out how to double layer doors. I have seen people online actually double layer their doors and I don't know how they did it. But as you can see, this is this is how you double layer it. And I think it's just purely based on having one on the stone foundation and having one on the metal. So I can put like three doors here if I really wanted to. But we want to make sure that it's on the metal. Uh, I'm hoping that it's on the metal right now. Maybe we'll just put another door down just to be safe. But this is pretty much the vault. This is going to be the idea. Multiple doors leading into the vault just to make it harder to get in. We're going to build stone around said vault. It's going to be really cool. Um, and like I said, it's such, a, it's such a flat area that it's going to be very, very easy for us to build out. If I actually break this stone real quick, you can see just kind of the scale of this cliff side. What's really awesome. Ooh, thanks for the water world. Appreciate it. What's really awesome as well is we have this drop off. And I may plan on doing some kind of balcony here. Or something like that. I know, uh, I believe it was Kyle or Ryan, one or the other, placed this bench down just to look off into the distance. This is the noob spawn zone. If you look at that peninsula right there, noob spawn there. And if you also look at the map, there's also a spawn very close to my base. I'm not really sure. I think I'm dead center on the map pretty much. So, uh, hey, level up. Not very hard to level on this server. We have five times XP, so... Nice and simple. Uh, I was saying I need to go up and wait. There we go. 
Got some extra engrams in order to learn some of the more metal-y types of things, like rocket launchers and stuff. Even though I'm not going to be the gun person, Demo's going to be the one learning rocket launchers and stuff. Uh, I'm going to be the builder, as you can already tell, and I am working on it. But thank you guys for swinging by today's ARC episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will be back with more building episodes, taming episodes, etc. in the future, and Purge this weekend. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and adios.